All right, welcome back. We are the Battlelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Battlelux for speedrunners. Due to the sur situation surrounding COVID-19, we're currently doing our events online for the time being. This event features streamers from both the Benlux and the rest of the world, bringing you entertainment, uh, inter entertainment during the lockdown. And right now we have a run by someone of Phineas and Ferb, who are going to ride again. So uh, take it away, uh, someone. All right, hello. Um, I'm someone, great name, I know. I have two commentators with me that uh, are here to be absolutely serious and not meme at all. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself for a moment? No. Hello, I'm Recalt. I'm the world record holder of every game. I'm Clover. I'm also a world record holder of every game. Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Alright, so real quick before I start the run. This is a no repairs run. Um, that means we're not going to be repairing any of these broken things, like this broken trampoline you see here. Uh, they're usually used to platform through the world, but we're going to skip them all with a lot of fun glitches. So yeah. Um, Alright, I'm ready to go whenever, so if tech is ready, in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, Finny has a verb. I'm not sure if everyone is familiar with the show, I doubt it, because it's, it's a bit more uh, recent in terms of cartoons. Not that recent, my childhood, but yeah. Um, anyways, it's about two kids who are like genius inventors. Um, and then they make like these random inventions to brighten up their day because summer vacation is boring. And... Uh, their sister finds out, tries to tell their parents, but every time uh, they tell their parents, the their invention miraculously disappears right before the parents are able to see it. So yeah, it's uh, it's a cartoon. Classic stuff. So we try to skip those screws, but I just picked up one by accident, so I had that dialogue happen. Um, what you see me doing here is totally normal, by the way. Yeah, um, within the first minute of the game, we already know how to glitch the game, because you see the drill we just picked up, the moment we are standing against the wall and uh, aim ourselves diagonally at the wall, we can push ourselves off into a different direction and clip ourselves into the wall. And um, yeah, drill, drills are great for going through walls, right? That, that's their intended purpose. Last time I checked, you can even butter your bread with drills. Yeah, you know, drills have another great use. Um, but first, we're going to get rid of Candace because she's blocking the way. That's her sister, by the way. But mom! She's going to a friendly place down the river. This is totally normal, by the way. Don't mind it. Mom, Ferp is doing weird again. By the way, your hand is a drill now. So, we just picked up some glasses that will allow us to see those red chests. Uh, we picked up one already. Um, those red chests, we need to collect them in every of the four worlds. And um, they're what allows us to build a great big project at the end of each world. Uh, in this world... Oh, hang on a moment. In this world, we'll be building a skateboard park so we can have fun skating with our friends. This clip is giving me a bit of trouble. Um, Vinny and Zafir are clipping through walls. Walls are just a suggestion. <laughs> doors do. What are doors? Do doors don't exist in this game? I don't know. But yeah, anyway. Um, Perry. Oh yeah, Perry is the safe machine of this game, by the way. They're, um... You'll see them a lot in World 3. By the way, uh, you might have noticed I just walked past the golden chest. Uh, those golden chests are like special upgrades for the skateboarding projects, but we don't really need them, so we just skip them. They can speed up some minigames, but getting them can be quite tedious because it often requires backtracking or more elaborate glitching, uh, so it's just not worth picking them up.
if you ever have to time someone, mm -hmm. could you turn the game audio up just a little bit? Maybe yeah, in OBS. Uh, I was looking at that. I'll, uh, I'll be doing that in a bit. Yeah, when there's time, no worries. There will be time in a bit. So, by the way, I should uh, explain this real quick, but we have some terminology for this game. Um, when we fall into like things like a pit or water, we call that we, we just call that uh, voiding out. And um, voiding out is actually really useful because it brings you back to the last coordinates uh, you were standing on. And here's the thing: uh, things like boats and stuff they don't count as coordinates. It, you, you'll always be brought back to solid land. Um, so. What we're going to do is, we're going to be throwing Ferb out of bounds. And um, that means their last coordinates were right there. Well, above there is a platform. Uh, and that platform brings us to the end of the world. Normally, after you complete the level, it will be brought down. But because we haven't completed the level, they just the devs put it up high there. So it's inactive. So. What happens if we void out is that we get brought all the way back there and we accidentally land on that platform, bringing us to the end of the world. So, um, yeah. Remember when I said doors were a suggestion? Yeah. They kinda are. Except for this door. Well, th this door is also a suggestion. You just gotta use active imagination. In other words, a drill. So well, actually, this do the, the doors are a one-way door, so to speak. If you approach it at the right side, it's a door. Otherwise, it's not a door. Now we have a few of those mini games coming up, and there are actually not repairs, but there are upgrades. Yep. All right. Oh. I hope the sound is still audible on stream because my computer just said no. I shouldn't have adjusted that. But, uh. Oh well. I'll just. Okay. I now have to fix it. There. Okay. Should be fixed now. Anyway, so now we're going backwards into the level because we do need those last few boxes. Yeah, uh, the reason we are going backwards is one, because it's technically faster, but also because otherwise there's an unavoidable repair. Um, so this is our way of skipping that. I take it a bit slow here because if we fall down there, we need to go to the backyard and lose three minutes of time. Also, you saw someone drop down there uh, and then here can the screen genius i cannot do Kenneth's impression i'm sorry uh actually that's part of well i would not say in glitch but more of an in state we have never activated it, it's a game mechanic essentially when you um when you fall uh, to the ground you'll you'll get protected by like a force field and um normally we, um, we, we, like, in casual gameplay, there's a cutscene that activates a health bar on top of the screen, which is essentially can the stress meter, and, uh, if she, you fall too much, uh, that stress meter will just go up and up, and, uh, Candace will get a bit angry, and, uh, she'll chase you around, and, uh, yeah. By the way, say hi to Jeremy, I'm gonna show off a fun glitch. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Enjoy, he's the star of the show. For a bit, anyway. Okay, now the camera zoomed in. This is very useful, by the way. Oh, because now... Needs a fair part break in the camera again. Alright, and that was the first world. So, we're going to build that skateboard uh, park, and uh, of course, uh, th this, this is not a repair, this, this is a build. 
big difference. Yeah, big, big difference. We're, we're building it from the gr ground up. It also says there, build. It doesn't say repair, so hey, it works. Power, repair, same difference. <laughs> By the way, one might notice these mini games are kind of designed for right handed people. I am left handed, so, uh, yep. You're this not is the question is, do game. you still use your right hand for your left hand? No, I, I do use my left hand. It's really tedious otherwise. By the way, I do hope the game audio is good now. Oh, by the way, we're ve very sportsmanlike. We're going to bump into our friends because, you know, that's how you win races. You just um, destroy the competition. No mercy, right? Ref, Ref, can he do that? Can they do that? Can Phineas do that? Yes? Can? Phineas can do that? Uh, well, okay. That's not fair. So, um, he, this mini game. Yeah, the, we cheat during a lot of the mini games. Um, the funny thing is that during this mini game, there, there's not much time save other than just taking the correct path and not, um, not uh, you know, bumping into things. But there's this star power up that gives you a boost, and um, it's quicker to like tap the boost than holding it because if you hold it, it will deplete the boost faster. So, I just tap it every once in a while to divide the boost over the entire course. And with good management, I should land around 130 in terms of time. Can I ask a serious question? No. Fine. Only non serious questions. No, okay, okay. go ahead. I'm out. Okay, how do you build a giant uh, three story tall skate park? in your backyard without your parents knowing, or is the Dover Smith doing again? Well, yeah, that, that's the point of the show. Every time the, the, like the parents are out at work or, you know, doing, doing something, and um, every time Dover Smith, which we'll get to see in a moment, by the way, uh, because this is, uh, this is the Agent P section of the game, um, Dover Smith makes an invention Agent P destroys the invention, and during the destruction of that invention, it will cause whatever Phineas and Ferb built to collapse, or otherwise disappear without a trace. Um, so their parents never notice, because every time Kent brings them to show them what Phineas and Ferb made, it's just gone. So, how, how, ma how many... How many normal decks before... No. I say three. So the next part is coming up. Uh, the uh, thing is, not Perry actually. What Perry is going to get? Oh, Norm, please note. I think Dr. Dovenschmidt. Yeah, um, so Dr. Dovenschmidt has three things they can do. They can slap me with their sausage. I think it's a bratwurst. Um, please don't. This is not what we want them to do, because if they keep doing that, their force field never goes down. The only way their force field goes down is if they throw those garden gnomes. And there's two ways they can do it. First, they can run backwards and then throw them, or they can stand still and throw them. Of course, if they immediately throw them without like moving like this, that's the fastest. So we just want them to do that every time. This is, by the way, complete RNG, so... Uh... The love RNG, right? Yeah, we're fighting. Th this is Germany versus the USA, I believe, because we have a hot dog, they have a bratwurst. So, can you stop? Can Never. you stop? Never. <laughs> Please stop. Say that I have a bad news for Coco. Just take the damage. <laughs> Taking damage here doesn't matter. Alright, that, that's the first world complete. So, um... Yeah. Alright, so moving on, the second world. Um, we accidentally shot an alien down with a baseball cannon, so now we're going to feel sorry and help that alien back into space, because, you know, we kind of destroyed their spaceship with our baseball cannon.
I don't need these screws by the way, but we need to wait for this platform and I don't have much better to do in you the meantime. You know what I say to those screws? Screw, screw it. Screw them. Maybe if you play metabots, you can give them to the screws. Oh, metabot, that has been a blast from the past. <laughs> Thanks for that memory, Rico. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, so we just picked up the skateboard. So we can cross these ramps. Also, yes, I, um, I forgot to mention, but this is the infamous Meep. The first one or the second one, though? Um, I think this is the first one? Yeah, I, I think this is based on the first Meep episode. Yeah, it is. The second one is also good. They also make a third one, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so... Normally we pick up like a... Oh. We don't pick this up, by the way. This is something that helps calm Candace down, but because there's no Candace on the top screen, we have an invisible Candace cuddling an invisible bear right now on the top screen. It, it's the thought that matters, okay? Hi, Barry. Yeah, so normally we have to lap lower this with the tractor beam we just picked up, but yeah, we, we can just clip through it, it's faster. And we pick up this box. Alright, so we're going to also do this world backwards slightly, but in a different way than we did the last world. Every Tree of the Worlds has like a side area. Uh, that connects to a further part in the world, and normally you're you're not supposed to go there. You're supposed to go further into the world and then go to that side area and kind of backtrack slightly that way. Oh gosh! Don't don't don't, don't fall! I fell. Oh well. Oh well. So instead, you're cheating. Yeah, I, I glitched myself up to the side area <laughs> so that I can do half of the world backwards. This is actually no. something I discovered myself, and funny enough, this is also how we do it in any percent, because later I realized that we actually do remove all repairs simply by this one trick, so... Yeah, that's great. We don't cheat, we just abuse mechanics that were made. Okay, the question. So you were talking about the whole no repairs thing, but what mm -hmm. are repairs? What do they do to the game? So, uh, repairs, there, there's essentially a lot of broken stuff in this game. Uh, there's like, uh, for example, those doors. We glitch through them backwards, but normally you need to go from the front, repair them so they become automatic opening doors. Uh, so you can walk through them, you know, because that makes sense instead of opening the door. Um, and just stuff like that. And for those repairs, we need screws. And uh, yeah, they're essentially platforming tools that you need to fix. For example, okay. I think one is upcoming right now that I can show. What's yeah. that penguin? Yes, that's a giant penguin. I love it. There, okay, there's I've... a lot of easter eggs. I have a better question. Is there also an all repairs category? No, but uh, maybe next time. Also, for I... example, this, uh, this uh, thing. Normally we'd repair it to get up there, but instead we glitch into the wall, grab this ladder, and get up here. And yeah, because that's better for the children, glitching in the wall instead of just building something. I'm just gonna say all repairs is actually impossible, because you'd have to fix the game. <laughs> the game cannot be fixed. Yeah, <laughs> you... It's beyond broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, th th this game is indeed beyond broken. I love how I'm shitting on the game, but it's true. <laughs> I wouldn't be a true speedrunner if I didn't shit on my own game, right? <laughs> but, it, like, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's hard to learn, by the way, some tricks. Mostly in, like, the third or fourth level, there's a one clip that's not fun. Yeah, th there's a lot of... Yeah, okay, so I will say the basic glitches of the game are really easy to learn, however the run itself is actually quite 
difficult because, um, uh, for example, in No Repairs, there's so many places that if I fall down or if I mess up one clip, I lose a few minutes of time. And it can really quickly stack up, so... Yeah. Also, um... Just don't screw up. Yeah, did anyone miss Weird Furb? No. Alright, well, he's back. Oh. Hey, Weird Furb. He's just drilling Phineas. That 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 does that doesn't that looks painful. Yeah, Phineas also has some fun animation glitches that I will show off later. I agree, but did have you ever tried that? Did somebody ask you to put a drill in your back? Uh, it's just a basis. massage on a daily basis. <laughs> no, no, I, I would say that if I had a massage chair, but I don't. Can you consider that a drill, though? Oh yeah, by the way, as you might have noticed, the drill sound stopped. For some reason, and I have no idea why, um, the trampoline, like the bouncy pad, just completely cancels out the sound of the drill. Oh. By the way, if you screw up and don't jump here correctly, you fall down. And there's no way to get that chest without repairing. Yeah, or well, there there is a way, but it takes uh, it takes ten minute time loss or something. Yeah, you have to go backtrack, and then you get it again, and you lose another. It's not funny. Yeah, it, it, you really just take this slow, or uh, yeah, it, I I think any percent is a lot more welcoming as a run because messing up, you can just repair something, and it takes a lot less time. So. Um, we're going to do this again, and by the way, this is the same mechanic we used in World 1. Um, since this platform is higher, uh, it will always put us on the highest platform. It, it will try to put us back on the same X and Z coordinates, but from the Y coordinates, it just goes to the highest Y coordinate and puts us on there. And uh, yeah, lucky for us, that, that, that platform is above there, so yeah, we get put on there instead. Oh, by the way... Oh, I might just well use it, right? Yeah, remember how this how this was about upgrading uh, Meep spaceship so we can get them back in space? We're not even done with the world yet, but we're also already in space, which just contradicts the entire story. Ah, it's fine. This looks pretty spacey. Yeah. Yeah, we're in Mitch's spaceship actually. So, uh, yeah, we just, um, yeah, yeah, that, that's apparently a thing we can do. Th this game is weird. So, by the way, um, have you ever heard of 2.5D games? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 this, this is when I discovered that 2.5D games were a thing. My first 2.5D game was DKC Returns, which is more like a 2D game with different layers. But... That, that is a 2.5D game, isn't it? Like, I think the definition of a 2.5D game is like a 2D game with 3D graphics. Hmm. So actual 3D models. But I would definitely say that this is more... I mean, it's a side scroller, but it's definitely a 3D game. Yeah, I mean, it, it that that's what I want to say. Like, it does have uh, it, it does have an X, Y, and Z axis if you look into the code. Um, I should mention. Oh, but w wait a moment. Just focusing here. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, we we just we just went out of bounds. To just get over there without dying. If we fell there. Mm -hmm. Um, we would have been falling into a semi-endless void, and maybe after 30 minutes we would have gotten overflow and uh, get back to where we were, but uh, that would have taken a bit too long. Did you save there, though? No, I didn't save. <laughs> I'm very happy you made it then. 
Uh, okay, so so like the world I'm going to be making safety saves in is World Three because, um, like, World One and Two they they are fried into my brain. I I I, I, I like okay I I am not that good of a runner, but still I uh I know the game a bit. But World uh, Three and World Four, even for an experienced runner, uh. They, uh, they're a bit annoying. And that's uh, all chests of World 2, by the way. Uh, next up is gonna come up a nice mini game. That we, we saw today already. We saw Mario Kart in Everwood. Now we're gonna see Mario Kart in Phineas a Verb. Actually, no, How that's much the. How Mario Kart versions do you want to have on one day? Uh, that's the mini game after this, actually. Wait, is it? Yeah, this is the spaceship one. Oh, this is I'm too hyped for it. Okay, I just like it so much. I mean, the the mini the minecart mini game is actually pretty fun in this. May or may not be because there's a funny glitch in there, but. Uh... So how how fast are you gonna mesh? Oh right. Okay. So yeah. Um, I should mention, during the end of this minigame, uh, so, so there's this, like, big meteorite, and the minigame ends if you go under the meteorite, but the meteorite is actually destroyable, so if you mash fast enough, you can destroy it and end the minigame, like, five seconds or two seconds before it's supposed to end. Mashing. Mashing. Yeah, um, this, this minigame is rather calm, there's not much going on, I can literally dodge everything without looking at the screen, so, um... Uh, if the host has anything to say... Sure thing. Um, there's an uh, incentive that I would like to plug. Uh, for the upcoming run of Pokémon Sword for the Tower 2 Fists category, uh, there's a bit war going on between Bubblesaur and Squirtle. Bubblesaur is currently ahead with 90 euros. Squirtle is a little bit behind with uh, 3 euros. So if you want to make that change and uh, donate some for Squirtle, uh, now's your chance. Uh, be sure to uh, make that happen. Uh, and uh, that's one of the runs that's coming up uh, very shortly. Water starter represents. Hello? No, 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 no. We donate more. To the Bulbasaur! Oh um, no. Are you a freestyle rapper now? Because I like it. Actually, <laughs> I, I should show this real quick, but I have some Pokemon stickers alongside with the Bulbasaur on the back of my DS. Oh, by the way, I know I took damage there, but that actually doesn't matter as long as I don't. Uh, also, can do me in barrel roll, please? Thank you. I know the reference. What? A little help here? I wonder if this is actually just a complete reference to that. Could be. We don't know. Honestly, I, I, I wish I could just contact the developers and be like, Hey, you forgot doing to, to fix this. You could maybe contact them over my art, you know? Respond to some things. You, you might as well be in both things. Oh yeah, that's funny game. actually. I think this game has unique voice lines for Doofenshmirtz. I, I don't think they're ripped from the show, so I, I wonder if they actually voice acted for this. I mean, it's not as difficult to get the voice actor and mm -hmm. let him work on the new game. That's true, just... I mean... That's, that's what I would do, actually. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot of Phineas the Verb games, so... Oh yeah, by the way, we're coming up to... Uh... Big Rock. I don't think I'm gonna make it, so I'm just gonna crash into it instead of going under it as you're supposed to do. Oh, or not, I guess. I was not high enough. Okay. Oh, I don't mind. Minigame ends. Oops, launch call for So this is staying me time. Clark! Now I'm gonna turn it off, of course. Alright, so we're fighting the big bad evil Mitch. And, um... We have borrowed the baseball cannon. Um... And we're at perfect height to shoot Mitch in a sensitive spot. Uh, we... Mitch has a force field. 
and we actually have no way to disable that force field ourselves. However, um, these le levers uh, are quite useful because um, w we have some buddies helping us out, and they are very, very happy to see Mitch. It's just a friendly group hug, guys. Alright, then we're gonna shoot Mitch. And um, in the second round, one of these baseball uh, spots is going to activate. I hope I'm at the right one. Nope, I'm at the wrong one. Of course I'm at the wrong one. Again, this is pretty much RNG. There, there is a pattern to how many of them activate. Like in the next round, five of these uh, terminals are going to activate. Um, but which ones of them activate is more or less completely random. Enjoy these great animations, by the way. Oh, nice, I managed that shot. Come at me. Oh. By the way, I haven't done this yet, but I should point out the controls for this game are very weird. Um, your jump button is the A button, however your primary action button for everything in the overworld is Y. So, any minigame, anything, any interaction with an object or NPC is Y. It's just interesting. The drill is B, by the way. Ah, yeah, and say, fight to Mitch. It's a Nintendo game, I wouldn't find that too weird. I mean, with Breath of the Wild, the jump button is X. Fair enough. Silly Nintendo. It's just a... It, it's not so... Uh, well, I should be thanking them, actually, because since we use drill clipping so much, like, in casual gameplay, you don't use the drill that much. But since this speedrun is completely reliant on drill clipping, it's actually really helpful for us because it does help us uh, progress through the world a lot faster, having the button on such an easy place. Alright, we can just walk through here. Just get down here. And by the way, there's a platform above us, and you know what that means. We get up there. Hey, um. Okay, let me just do this first. Yeah, enjoy this. This is totally normal. See, all repairs is not possible. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh. Yep. Right, I did. I did some searching. Uh, there are no known voice actors or actresses for this game at all listed somewhere. Nice. I mean, if you, if we beat the game, we can see the credits, right? Yep. Well, there's our source. I all suppose. right. We'll By the way, this is completely normal. We just. We, we just mess up the seesaw a bit, so we get launched further than we should, and we completely skip a repair by doing that. Also, if I just traumatized you with what I had Phineas do just now, um, I'm sorry. Alright, so there's a few different things I can do here in this world. We're also going to complete this world mostly backwards. Um, but because um, there's a risky jump to do, I'm first going to grab this next chest. Need to focus here for a bit. Okay, no. Alright, yeah that's uh, 
That's a bit of a risk, but we manage. This is totally how sea cells work, by the way. Two kids are heavy enough to lift up a boulder into the sky. Okay. Time to go backwards. Um, essentially, this works the same as in World 1. Uh, we let ourselves fall into the water and get glitched up on a platform that's higher than the platform we used to be. Um, it's a bit of a tricky one, but it works. Uh, let me see. Alright. Okay, I managed to clip in. Now we... Oh, nope, nope, nope. I don't want to fall into the void. Okay. Yeah, so there, the collision there is really weird. If you misstep, you fall into the void. Um, and it's uh, not so pleasant. But anyway, we managed to do it. We're at the end of the world. Hooray. Hey. All right. We would like to see more uh, weird camera glitches. So normally there's a light switch as you can see in the back there. And uh, with that light switch we can uh, turn on the brightness in that area and reveal the platforming objects we have to cross. But because we haven't activated the light switch, um, yeah, the area doesn't get light up and the objects don't get loaded in visually. They are still there, just not visually. Oh, I can I cancel this? No, I can't. Um, yeah, by the way, this, um, hmm, I, um, yeah, great camera angle, I know, right? Um, we need to for people. Breaking the camera angle. Yeah, I, I love doing that. It's <laughs> okay. Now I want to see a non-broken playthrough of this game. Are you sure? Children. I'm going to ask again. Are you sure? No. Rick, I'm pretty sure that's not possible. Yeah, you're right. There, there's there's the glitches you can run into even not having glitches. Okay, so I gotta focus for a bit here because this one is really tight and annoying. So I gotta line my up and I gotta clip myself into the wall, but not too much. And then I got to go all the way back here and fall right into this void because above there there's no void, there's only... Well, there, there's a different kind of void, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't let us uh, use the propeller pack. Now we hope we get right here in the corner, please land. Yes, okay. If you did that wrong, you just fall back all the way down, and uh, you have to do that again. Hey, Bodhi. Okay, so up here, there is a chest, um, and yeah, we need to grab that to complete the game. But the problem is, we can actually just not grab it. Right now, there is no way to grab it. So how are we going to complete the game? Well, we'll come back from it later. We, we just need something, uh, something that would be very inconvenient to unlock right now. Okay, just gonna... Uh, no. Okay. Okay, that jump is a little bit tight, but not as risky. By the way, recall. Uh, remember when you said casual playthrough? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Do this jump. No clips needed. Just a normal jump. I believe it. You almost got stuck at the walk, though. Totally normal, right? Yes. Yes, I always jump into a river, then I fly up with my jetpack, and I suddenly get more high high, high, high movement. Okay. So, totally normal. Also, in English is hard. English is hard. 
Okay, so coming up is a really annoying area because it's it, it, it will have a series of glitches. Uh, that's just, you need to perform them in a row and they're a bit risky. I believe in you. You can do it. Yeah, but um, first... Um, so, remember how before we glitched Phineas into the fur, uh, void? Uh, sorry, we, we glitched Ferb into the void. I'm going to save here, just Maricon safety. Um, Let's glitch into the Ferb. Yeah, we're, yes, we're, we're... glitch into the Ferb! Yeah. Okay, so Ferb has a drill, and the drill has a hitbox. And it, it, that, that hitbox doesn't only... That, that hitbox doesn't only work on walls, it also works on NPCs. So uh, I push Phineas into the fur, uh, into the void there. And um, this allows me to walk with Ferb. And we need Ferb here because this this is an invisible wall that normally gets removed later. Uh, but because we haven't removed it, we need to clip through it with Ferb. Alright. Oh yeah, for, for who doesn't know the show, um, Phineas is the person with red hair, Ferb is the person with green hair. And the Void is also Ferb. Everything is Ferb. Alright, so I just gotta pay attention here. Nice. Okay, yeah. Horrible, horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. By the way, we were talking about glitches earlier. Wanna know some useless speedrun trivia? Sure. Okay. It is impossible to play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door glitchless. Because if what? you if you walk sideways, um, like you can walk to the right, which is a speed, and up, which is a speed. But if you walk sideways, those two speeds get uh, uh, what's the words? added each uh, like combined so you walk faster than normal and that is not intended so that's a glitch so what you're saying is that if i can play paper mario without moving sideways i uh i play it glitchless uh, and not exclusively but yeah challenge not accepted good luck doing that on an analog stick I will use an emulator. Okay, so here, since we don't have the upgraded fishing rod yet, we need to perform a series of clips and jumps that are annoying. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But I managed. Alright. By the way, I wonder who left these random water pumps here. Like... They're very useful. Yeah, they're there, and these pretty useful. Okay, um, we're almost done with this world already. Um, but by the way, to uh, complete this world, we'll need to um, we'll need to have all the chests. So with the chest we skipped, um. We are not going back for it yet, actually. What we're going to do is we're just going to go to the next world, despite it being closed, and just grab a chest from there, because, fun fact, despite chests being in different worlds, they are all coded the same, so they're interchangeable. You could literally complete the game in pretty much more or less any order you wanted. Uh, it just complicates it a bit because you wouldn't have all gadgets, so you would have to glitch more. But it is technically possible. Oh yeah. Uh, instead of repairing that, we just use the rock. Okay, I'm not going to save here, 
uh, I just saved after all, but I I trust myself to do the next series of glitches correctly. We have faith in you. So, as a little trivia on how I found this game, I actually got it as a birthday present. Oh. Thank you, person who gave little someone a DS game. Yeah, it, um, it, uh, it, uh, was a great adventure. If only I knew how much it would have, uh... Oh, damn it, this clip is... Hmm. Okay, hang on. One, two, three. Seven. Seven, remember? Seven. Gotta go for seven. Drill. Okay, there we go. Hey. Now we need to do it again, by the way, because, uh... And now we go up here. And we need to do it again. So many clips. Oh, jeez. Alright, now we get to go down here and do it another time, because there's no way to get back there from up there, so... Magic? Uh... Sort of? I, I, I suppose this kind of glitch is count as magic too, in a way. Alright, so now you got 11 chests, or repair box tools. Yep, but so we're 12. going home. Yeah, we're going home. We're kind of done uh, for the day with that world. For now. Let me just quickly use the time machine. What? Are we going back in time? No, wait, we're, we're using it in a sort of different way. Ah. Don't worry about it. It's totally normal. Uh, that, uh, this is not World 3. Okay, just gonna save here, not really necessary, but, you know, marathon safety stuff. Alright. Bye-bye, Ferb. We're taking revenge on you, again. So, normally you'd have to fix, like, a spring to get up there again. Uh, but, um... With Phineas, we can just barely jump on that rock and make it up there. Okay, let's hope this worked. Yep, it did. So, we get all the way up here. And, um, we're not going to grab the chest yet. We're first going to upgrade the fishing rod. Uh, because otherwise, uh, we still need to come back up here and that would be inconvenient. But we like the inconvenience. Sort of. There's inconvenience and there's just too much effort. Alright. So, I'm going to be, uh, yeah. So, this is the minecart minigame, uh, or, well, Mario Kart minigame. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be building that. If the host has anything to say during that, go ahead. We currently don't have any new donations, but I'd like to remind people, uh, or I'd want to thank ESA for supporting the event and for allowing us to stream on their channel. For information about their upcoming events and any changes due to the COVID-19 outbreak, be sure to check out ESAMarathon.com. And you can also consider using uh, your free monthly Prime Gaming subscription right here on the ESA channel, which will get you access to all the ESA emotes as well as several BSG emotes. And you get to support both the events, how about that? Seems like a pretty great deal to me. Alright, that's well done.
So, the lore of this minigame is that Candace accidentally fell on the minecarts we are building, so Finny is a verb thought she meant they want to race, and uh, now we're racing. Also, the collision of the walls in this minigame is great, as you just might have noticed. Um, so we're just gonna use that to our advantage. And uh, the NPCs here rubber band, as in like every minigame of this sort. But there's a few ways we can uh, get ahead of them, like these rails, they uh, speed you up, so as long as we use them a lot, uh, we should be good. I'm also going to attempt doing a clip. Um, it's a bit of a difficult clip, uh, but uh, it's fun to go for it. Also, I just got shrunk, like about the only thing that can lose you time in the minigame. Um, oh, I should also point out, uh, it doesn't actually matter if you win or lose here, it's just, you know, the faster you are, the faster the minigame ends. So, it's faster. Winning is just a suggestion. Yeah, they, 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 they weren't too fan of forcing the next world behind, like, uh, having to win the minigame. Which I'm glad they did. Also, lightning twice in a round, that's more than the average. Let's go glitch. Yeah, I want to say, there was a glitch here, right? Yeah, there was, but I don't think... You know, the how this, this seems like a pretty good game, but it in comparison to Raymond Bart or the Java phones. Your, your angle was slightly too much to the left. Yeah, I figured something like that. Alright, I also got two lightnings, which is very lucky. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, I'll go for the clip again next round. The, the only thing that could be seen as reality in this game is the real clip. The rest is just a suggestion. The runner is also a suggestion. Yes, I am. Take it over from here, please. I, I'm just someone. I could be anyone. I, I am a suggestion. Or the solution. Huh. I, I don't know how to say things without being... Uh, being the asshole. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Alright, th then I'll quickly be the asshole. So, um, if you want to watch more fun runs, uh, Rickled here quickly has a part-time UFO run coming up in a bit. So, uh, yeah. you should totally watch that too. The it's run after next. It's a cute, not curvy game. It's a great game. I've the actually been really enjoying is... watching it. Ah, thank you. And Clover actually recently, or earlier today, did Everhood, and next Friday, we'll do Code Fame. Yeah. yeah. And you do also still have a run, or was Larry Cross also still has to be done by you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Done. On Thursday, I have two runs. First up, uh, Legend of Dark Witch, two. A very long name. I, I didn't even read out the full name. Um. And uh. There's also indeed Lara Croft that I run with Rickle here. Okay. Dance the glitch? No, I, I actually forgot. <laughs> Muscle memory. Anyway. At there we go. Min min mini game clear. Yeah. So what by else? the way. It's a suggestion. Okay, I'm just gonna show this off because it's funny. Oh, there's Barry. What's up, Agent P? Uh, uh, <laughs> that dog is now scarred for life. The dog is just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is. Ever watch, uh, what's this thing called again? Uh, uh, spy dogs. Like, or maybe I'm too old. Oh, um, is it like. Uh, I think I know what you mean, yeah. It's a Cartoon Network show where there was this uh, white dog with a purple dot on its fur. Uh, Agent Ralph, or Agent... 
are, I think, I don't know. And the cats were the bad guys, and they have to... Uh... And there was like a dog as well, or something? Everyone, or at least, it's a whole network of dogs that are spies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do remember that. And it was this little yellow one that uh, didn't do too much. And a pink one who was a lady. Okay, so um, this go. this is just a pretty normal mini game, but I'm a little bit worried because I don't have the correct power up right now. Uh, just going to try and destroy all the rocks to hope we get the correct power up. Ah, yeah, there it is. All right, so uh, this is just an extra powerful shot that will pierce through everything, and it will allow us to damage the boss a lot quicker because the boss has like uh, two damage hitboxes that. They'll be shown at the start, but they kind of overlap a little bit. Uh, they're like the eyes and the nose. Um, so, and, and this way we can hit them both at the same time, thus ending the mini game faster. I hope I can get a barrier though, so I can damage boost. Nope, I want, wasn't fast enough. Maybe a lucky drop from these enemies. Nope. Alright, well that's fine. We still have three lives, we should be good. All right, so as you can see, it will it will show off the damage hitbox here. Is now a good time uh, for a donation? Yeah, go ahead. Because we just received a 15 euro donation from Mona. Uh, no comment included, but thank you so much for that uh, generous donation. So much appreciated. Every little bit counts. Yeah, thank you for that donation. Mind is a great charity to support, so yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, uh, this is a cartoon, not an anime, but everything needs a beach episode, right? So, uh, this is the beach episode. There are just children, someone. Not every show needs a beach episode. I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh. less level. Yep, less, less level. level. We, we apologize in advance. The, the sound will get annoying pretty soon. Yep. Um. This is the... Okay, I cannot jump. Is my input delayed? Okay, wh whatever. There we go. Maybe you finally lost the... Uh... Use of your A button. <laughs> it finally broke. Someone Honestly. did mention that it might have been the first button to ever break because we're messing so much during mini games. Yeah, uh, during the mini game, I mash it. Okay, I'm just gonna glitch through the top here. It's a little easier. Um, well, jumping also is the A button, and as you can see, this game is pretty jump heavy. So, I mean, it is a platformer after all. Wait, I just I realized, are all the three games I submit to this marathon platformers? I don't know about Legend of Dark Witch. But yeah, that, that's definitely a platformer. It's, okay. it's Mega Man-esque. Lara Croft is also definitely a platformer. Yeah, this is... Uh, I suppose it counts as a puzzle platformer. Okay, I could do the weird Phineas glitch here again, but I'm not gonna do it because... Um, yeah, okay, so uh, a really annoying glitch is coming up that during practice I struggle a lot with, so um, Zeta, I'm sorry in advance. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. Yeah, who, who knows, maybe I'll get it first try. It, it's a bit finicky because there's, there's just... Collision is a weird thing, and uh, yeah, okay. Huh, look at that, I actually did get it first try. And I see that's working, but he will be proud. Amazing. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that, that glitch, um, we just, so, sometimes collision is weird in this game, where if you're just inside of, of a platform, it will clip you up to the top of it. 
which is just very useful there because it allows us to just make that jump barely and uh, yeah. So these big walls, uh, there, there was an upgrade for the drill in uh, the third world that we actually skipped. Um, and why we do that is because despite these walls looking like, well, you need to drill for them, you can also just clip through them instead of actually destroying them. So, uh, yeah. The drill is the only gadget in the game that we don't upgrade at all. Uh, and the jetpack is the only thing we don't fully upgrade. Uh, because the jetpack has a fourth upgrade that... Um, it, it just makes the, um, the duration of the jetpack last longer, but we don't need that. All the gaps in this game are small enough for us to get over them with the unupgrade jetpack, so yeah. Okay. A, sp a spike wall. Oh yeah, by the way, we're in a volcano. Why are kids in a volcano? It's way too... dangerous out here. Well, we need to collect parts for projects. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> Very normal, right? If you ask if they are a little young to be doing this, then the answer is yes, yes they are. Certainly true. I actually don't know how old Finn is a verb are in the show. A Phineas. Less than fifteen, presumably between seven and twelve. Alright, we have a bunch of seven years old in a volcano. Amazing. And about eighteen in the episode accurate age. Oh, yeah, that's the last one of the original season. One of the original seasons. You know more than I do. Or is it the, no, it's a, is it the time travel episode? It, yeah, it's a time travel episode. By the way, what are, what are physics? <laughs> I'm also looking at their height right now. And there's uh, in between this person and that person. And then I click on their heights. Oh, he's... Uh, she is slightly taller than Ferb. Yeah, that's helpful. Amazing. Somebody yeah, just tried calling like me. How, how, how someone would actually write their height. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong, though, someone? That's probably how you would write your height. Yeah, how high are you? I'm slightly taller than Clover. How tall is Clover? Slightly taller than Retold. I'm not I think going I to said comment. It in the wrong order. It doesn't matter. You, you, you get the point. Alright, so I clipped slightly into the wall here. Um, okay, never mind, that didn't work. Um, you need to clip slightly into the wall here so that you line up with this platform perfectly and it bumps you up. Okay, I need to probably do it twice. One, two. Okay, like this should work. No? Three times? One, two. Okay, like this maybe. Okay, yeah. Still going for seven. Sure. All right. This this clip I is a bit tricky. Um. Okay, I made it. So I have to save after this. You get to save after this. Yeah, because. I, um, if I fall down there, there is unfortunately no place to void out there, you just fall endlessly again. And, uh, that's a bit inconvenient right now. So, actually, fun fact, this, this, um, this entire no repairs thing started as a meme run, because we didn't know that was possible to complete the game without repairing anything. Um, so I just did a meme run of, like, uh, I guess seven hours it was, uh, where where I just tried going through the game with no repairs. But to do that, sometimes we just had to 
get ourselves glitch into the void and underflow until we land back up again. Um, which takes like about 30 minutes every time you do it. So, um, yeah, um, you can guess how many times we underflowed. Oh, I don't think that was necessary, but that's fine. Well, uh, to be honest, it's still a meme room. Uh, no comment. It's a good run. It, it, it is a proper run. You would normally see. Memes can be good. Yeah, I, I mean, I will say, uh, like, th this run, the glitches are not that hard to perform, but you still need to be careful with the platforming, because, again, losing a f quite a few minutes of time is easier than it seems. Um, yeah, we just um, casually blasted our sister from a volcano, don't worry about it. No, 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 we send her out to, to outer space to meet. Yeah, yeah, we're, she's just visiting me. It's fine. We, we'll be getting her back later, don't worry about it. Three, four, five, six. Seven. Here. Okay. It didn't work, Clover. You're a liar. Okay. I'm not sure. Well, I, I guess we're like at a tropical island where the beach is next to an island or something. Uh, sorry, next to a volcano. I'm gonna I mean, save here. Maybe this is the island from the original Paper Mario. That has a tropical island and a volcano next to it. I'm not prepared for the consequences uh, of having Phineas and Ferb as the same universe as Mario. This is where they use the time traveler and then the time machine, actually. This is where they use the time machine to go back to the dinosaur. Yeah, they're, they're, as you can see from the background, there's the dinosaurs dinosaur. in the background. The dinosaurs are real, they exist somewhere. Ape Escape 2 proved it. Because the game you play when the internet is down is not in game based. Well, it's based on a real animal, it just doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, that was a bit messy, but works either way. Uh, just gotta get up there. Takes a bit long. I missed the spot. All right. Uh, just gotta walk a little bit further then. Okay, this should be working. It didn't really work. Let's see if this works. I love for Cashley going like we. Nah, he's just chilling. Uh, what? Uh, um, uh... That's good. never happened before. <laughs> yeah, um... Uh, hmm, um... Reminder, that... you need to get world records. That's not good, um, this is... Are you oh, stuck? <laughs> Are you stuck? Are you a hard lock? Uh, um... <laughs> Hang on a moment, let me try something. Actually, yeah, that, that's more like a hard lock. No, uh, it's not a hard lock because actually, uh, you know. Okay, I think I made a safety save, so. Uh... <laughs> well, you did make one. The question is where. Uh, not so far. Not so far. Luckily. Oh. Okay. Well, um, I guess I discovered the new soft lock. I don't think that that um, yeah. So. Funny enough, there's only one hard lock in the game that has been discovered so far. I think I discovered it. The rest is now all soft. Two. Huh? Now it's two. No, no, no. That's not a hard lock. That's a soft lock because well, that's not even a soft lock technically. Yeah, because... the, the soft lock you get out of it. Mhm. Mm like a hard lock is in between a crash and the soft lock. Yeah. Oh no! I hope that. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, that might still work because I, I land on the balloon. Would that be a good time for a couple of donations? Yeah, that, that would be fine. All right, because uh, we received uh, from uh, Mati Haze, I hope I said that correctly, if not apologies, uh, we received 20 euros uh, saying just simply have monies. Thank you so much for monies. Money. And also we received five euros from Tiny Tim saying, hey all, donating for the amazing someone and the Phineas and Furbron. You're such a fantastic person and I'm humbled to say you are a very, very good friend. Good luck on the run. Cheers. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Tiny Tim. That's so kind. Also, uh, please do not soft lock here. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great. Yay, I didn't soft lock. Always a relief. Hooray. Ignore, ignore the fact that I just soft locked five minutes ago. Hooray. But yeah, thanks for that donation. Um, so that ramp up there, it leads to the side area that we casually clipped into. So don't worry about it. Just normal gameplay things. Um. By the way, uh, if you've been paying attention, we have still not picked up the chest in World 3, so, um... Oh, by the way, physics. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, what we're going to do is, after we complete this world, we're going back to World 1, not World 3. And we're going to be visiting an old friend of ours. Okay, there we go. Um, no, I'm not gonna save here. Okay, yeah. Um, by the way, that Rickold, remember when we were talking about casual gameplay and glitches? Yes. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll show you about that board there in a moment. This is the best door in the game because it, you can actually walk through it from both sides. Is that a casual thing? Yeah, the, the, there's just a big hole in the collision of the door. I mean, it is far enough into the game where you tried running into doors and then uh, you expect, oh, it's a wall, but you can just walk through it. That is, yeah. that is the biggest chat move I've seen in this game so far. So, uh, by the way, there are... S so, the reason I saved there is because, well, what just happened when um, I got soft-locked, I got no clip, um, and it just means you automatically clip through things. Uh, you don't have to clip anymore. Uh, that said, this area, there's a big chance to get the no-clip glitch as well. And uh, the reason I saved this to just... Ha have a closer place in case I soft lock because it is possible. Okay, so switch to verb, glitch down here. Oh, by the way, that was the first use of the tractor beam, I believe. Also, we're go not gonna touch that light switch. We're instead going to uh, go here. Okay, there's an invisible wall there with spikes that hasn't been visually loaded in because, well, Ah, uh, yes, invisible pits. Alright. And we just gotta clip through here. Alright, amazing. Okay, I think this will be the last parry of the game. So, uh, say bye to Perry. Bye, Perry. No worry, I know where Perry is. Yeah, he's behind you, right? Or, uh, no, he's in, uh... See, with your girlfriend? Yes, with my girlfriend. For context, um... You ha uh, Rickle has a great pillow. Yeah, and yeah. 2015, I went to Disney... Uh, Disneyland in Paris. And I bought a Phineas, no, not a Phineas, a, fer a fairy pillow. If you've been to Disney World, you, you know what it is. This man is the only person here that has a fairy body pillow, and they say I'm the Phineas a Ferb fan. Oh, I got no clip. I mean, it was that or Stitch, and I'm surprised I chose uh, Perry. But I guess Perry is a fun character. 
Alright, so what you just saw there was no clip. I landed on the uh, trampoline despite being clipped out of bounds, and that just uh, it just kind of messes up the game. So uh, I realized I Aren't could have prevented that, but. Aren't you messing up the game yourself? No, it's, I'm just doing intended gameplay. Don't worry about it. Oh, I see other people have very emergent dice as well. But there can only be one true fairy. Hmm. Yeah, Alright. The one, the one fairy that he can, uh, that fights against Godzilla? Yes. I'm, okay, good. I'm quite, uh, quite funny that there's a water pump underwater. I mean, just wait until you find the campfire underwater. We, we're not talking about SpongeBob here, Ricardo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was what you were referring to, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Okay, I got pushed out of there. That's inconvenient. I mean, I have a better question. Where are their oxygen tanks? On their back. They have them. Look. I see it. Oh, the yellow ones. Okay. okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're more like I... backpacks, but uh, hey, they work. Backpacks with unlimited oxygen. Look, if Phineas and Ferb can make all these great inventions, surely they can make, like, they, they can refresh their own oxygen underwater. Again. There, there is a difference between doing impossible things and doing impossible things. Okay, so uh, that's the final chest of this world. Uh, we're missing one. That's a problem. Let's uh, quickly go to the backyard and uh, see if we missed anything in world one. wonder what I could have missed. You know, I wonder, like, this game looks so perfect like this, it, it isn't laggy at all. Maybe something is missing from the top screen that normally makes the game really laggy and so we skip it? Hmm. Yeah, we, we're missing that pillow. Uh, ah, that, right, that, right. That, 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 that pushy you gave. It just, it just appeared. Yeah. Right, right. Well, let's just climb up these random, unsuspicious-looking ladders. Those ladders look rather unsuspicious, though. They are. They're just normal ladders. The first ladders you encounter in the game, actually. Oh, a roof. Nice. Let's jump on those balloons there. Nah. Oh, hey, Candace. She's gonna tell us to get off that roof because it's dangerous. So we jump off the roof like normal, sane people. How high would that jump be? Pretty high, I think. And so she gets angry at us because we just jump off a tree store high building. And uh, she's well, going I to... I think it's actually higher. Probably. It, it, it depends. Are we encountering it as a normal house or are we looking at the model and compare the model size with their height and then the actual house size? No idea, because but anyway. make the house like three times as big. Yeah, anyway, Candace is now on the top screen. Um, and uh, that means the game lags. And you would ask, why do we need Candace? Well, Candace, stop yeah. lagging. Yeah, so here's the fun thing. Um, Candace allows us to do a very specific glitch I found. Where if, because the stress meter goes down every time you fall. So if you fall and at a certain timing, and um, at that timing you are above a place you want to be, and you activate the mini game by mashing Start and A, uh, it will somehow uh, trigger in the air instead of while you're at the ground. And once the mini game is completed, instead of uh, instead of being brought back to your original Z and X uh, position, you actually just get dropped from where you started the mini game. This will allow us to just get to a specific spot that we couldn't get before. And I'm still surprised by how 
this was found out, but it, it was a real adventure. Speaking of, um, let me do some quick shout outs to the Phineas of Herb community. It's actually, it's over the past years, uh, I, I, I would have never expected the series Discord to grow this big, but we're, we're now past 100 members and there's like 16 games on speedrun.com, which is a lot more games than I ever thought would be of Phineas of Herb. There even is a Steam game. So yeah. Um, but yeah, just some quick shoutouts to Lysio, um and uh, Luke Place, as well as Mad Freak. They, uh, they're the primary runners of this game alongside me, and they helped me figure out a lot of fun stuff uh, that uh, helped progress the game. There's also fellow glitch hunters that don't run the game, but they also helped us explore this game a lot. Anyway, just to focus here, so yeah, we need to get up here, and we cannot repair this trampoline, so... Um, yeah, we just glitched down here, and uh, okay, I kind of messed that up. Alright, so, say uh, bye to Fur because Ferb is going into the void one last time. Bye, Ferb. And now we're just going to run along on the river stream. This is totally normal. By the way, say hi to the monster in the background. Hi, Nessie. Alright. And, uh... Alright. So, we're just going to end this minigame the fastest possible. And there's quite some glitches in this minigame as well. Oh, I messed up. Uh, you can technically continue this mini game while Candace actually caught you already. Eh, that's fine. It, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't save or lose time. It's just funny. But now we drop down, and uh, yeah, that's the drill upgrade we skip, and this is the last chest. So, time for the final mini games. Uh, flower. Flower. Oh yeah, I I'm playing in Dutch because this is like one of the few games probably that got, uh... Uh... It got a translation in Dutch, which is just... I, I don't remember playing many games in my childhood that were translated to Dutch. There were a few games. Like, definitely there are more now, because games have been more, uh high production value, like most Infamous and PlayStation games are Dutch, the PS1 mm -hmm. and 2, not a lot. So, um, during the Surf minigame, I'm just, uh, this, this is a serving minigame, I kind of forgot to mention. It's rather boring, there, I'm just gonna do some, if, if the host has anything to say, go ahead. All right. Uh, yeah, there's no new donations, but uh, a reminder that we are raising money for Mind, which is a nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues and to support everyone who is dealing with mental issues themselves or within the family. And all of your donations will go to Mind. Gaaf, geweldig, and jammer dan. This is yeah. That this game likes to rub it in your face if you fail. Isn't failing like slow? Uh, not that much because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really. It loses 0 0.1 second of time, I suppose. Gotta save those frames. It's worth showing off the funny dialogue in this game. I really have to thank the translators. Thanks, translators.
So, uh, yeah, if we had a special upgrade, we could have visited Atlantis, but uh, since we don't, uh, we will not uh, find Atlantis, unfortunately. Alright, um, and over there is the end of the minigame. Um, there is only the parry section to go, and then that would be the end of the run. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to build that there, but... Yummer. <laughs> Yummer dumb. Exactly. Anyway. Moving on, we're going to do some gardening. So, there's two strategies here. Some people prefer using the gardening tool, I prefer using the hat uh, mixed with the gardening tool. I use the gardening tool for small plants and I use the hat for bigger plants uh, because they take two hits and since the hat goes back and forth like a boomerang, it will hit them twice if you line it up correctly. Um, and I just think it's faster, especially when multiple plants line up correctly, as hopefully will happen here. Yeah, as you can see this way, the half deals more damage, so it's more beneficial. Alright, and this is the one before last area. Um, once Dubenschmirz appears, time will be coming up. I'll of course be signaling when it's time, but just so tech can get ready. Alright, the plants are not behaving today. I'll just do this the opposite way that I normally do it. Satisfying. All right, it's time for the final boss of the game. Of course, it's Stupid Schmutz again. Sometimes, with great lips. I don't. You yeah, I don't know why they are cursing us before we even beat them, but. All right. So since Dovin Schmidt is a bit inside of the plant's collision, I will be using the hat. So in the meantime, um, I'd like to thank you two for uh, helping me out with commentary. Much appreciated. No problem. You're welcome. The world Just... record holder of every game, except this one. Alright, uh, only one <laughs> more hit, then it will be time. Yeah, same. <laughs> and... Time. Yes! Alright. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this cutscene play, play out. Also, don't forget that we want to watch the credits to know who the voice actors are. Don't forget. So, uh, yeah, um, Rep Doofenshmeers? Like, yeah. 
So what's the time actually? It's a one twenty-seven fifty-one. Twenty-seven fifty-one. I yes. do not think that's a PB. I don't know actually. Oh, me... you, you broke the streak. I, I, I let me check. I don't know. I don't know my t time for this. It's been a while since I ran the category. No, it's not in PB. Too bad. I, I, I bet it was the soft block. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, PB is a four minute difference, so. Yeah, that 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 that's almost one or two soft blocks. So hey. Anyway, um, that was Phineas of Herb. I hope it was enjoyable. Uh, and uh, I wish you a lot of fun watching the rest of the marathon. There's a lot of good runs coming up. Uh. Personally, looking forward myself to part-time Yuvo and Golden Sun tonight. Um, so yeah, have a fun time, y'all, and uh, that was all for me. All right, thank you so much, uh, someone, for that awesome Phineas and Ferb run. And once again, taking us uh, on this ride uh, to Phineas and Ferb ride again. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play some advertisements and we'll be back with a race between Double Double and Linkermeister, who will be racing uh, Hello Kitty. So be sure to stay tuned for that. We'll be right back. Push.